whether you're actually being watched at any given time, but you do know you always could be. And without really knowing, you're forced always to operate be. under the assumption that you're always, always being watched. That's how we got this form of constant presumed surveillance is really cheaper and lower always maintenance be. than exists in the kingdom, since it doesn't always actually be. require the man to really constantly survey always everyone, be. just the uncertainty that you could be monitored at any time. This is an idea that's persisted for centuries and is often used as a metaphorical concept to explain the way digital surveillance warps our brain. It's been used to talk about phone calls being monitored or ad companies tracking your search history or, more recently, the expectation that when you are out existing in public, you could always at any time become subject to being filmed and posted to millions of people who have never met you for essentially any perceived monetizable action. I mean, remember when that teenage boy at a Target checkout became a viral hit online for no reason other than that someone photographed him at work and thought he was attractive? A lot of people laughed it off at the time, but this constant expectation of surveillance and monitoring of private individuals existing in private interpersonal contexts is fairly concerning. Sociologist Michel Foucault, king of things are like prisons, wrote fairly extensively about the context of the panopticon and things like it in our daily systems, essentially describing how we can become so policed that we begin to police ourselves. As he put it, he who is subjected to a field of visibility and who knows it assumes responsibility for the constraints of power. He makes them feel spontaneously out of control. He inscribes in himself a power relation in which he simultaneously plays both roles. He becomes the principal of his own subjection. So essentially, to go, it's the mere fact of being constantly observed by those in power that can warp our own behavior and self perception and can essentially subjugate us. Perpetual monitoring from others begets perpetual monitoring of ourselves. We are made to exist in a context where we are so subject to the gain of power.
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
voice act. I was expecting that here, Pikachu. Tweet out in the void to talk in a way I do not talk.
this place a city Thank you.